So this is our annual food fest. And so what we try to do in the food fest is to give American students a sense of what the whole world is like. The food fest is a simulation of global food distribution. It puts in a room uh, the top 10%, the middle 15%, and then the bottom 75% of the world in terms of calories that they'll get per day. The CRS focuses on three different countries each year. So this year it was the Philippines, Honduras, and Kenya. And they kind of just want us to get to know more about the countries. We have students come and they get broken up into lower class, middle class, and upper class. Upper class people get to eat steak, have really nice dinner, but there's only two people up there. Middle class, maybe five people, and they get to eat you know, a pretty nice middle class meal. Everybody else, about 80% of the world, eats tortilla, beans, rice. We just want more people to learn about this and have an idea of how it is to survive with $2 a day. I got to you know, experience what the poor people uh, do you know being deprived by food and knowing that there's like people having better meals? Uh, I was placed in the lower class in with Honduras, and I had mainly rice, beans, and a tortilla. Um, it was definitely a good experience because I did not un like know that a lot of people their crops and everything that they survive on just wash away. There was a person that was in the middle class, the middle income group, who I think had exactly the experience we were hoping that somebody would have, where they were uncomfortable because of seeing the disparities up close. We want them to go away from that, not just saying, <clears throat> man, I'm glad that I don't have to just eat rice, uh, but for them to remember there are people that go to bed just having eaten that like one cup of rice. I think the event actually turned out very well. I think it was a good little mock uh, trial of trying to show how class affects, you know, what you have access to eat. They did let us know how hard it is for those people who are already in that lower rank to essentially um, upgrade from that lifestyle and have better opportunities. And um, they're working just as hard of, as us, maybe even harder, but they don't get the same benefits. A good part of that, right, I think we, it is really good to acknowledge the gifts and the abundance that we have. We have brothers and sisters around the world, and just as you wouldn't, you know, turn your back on your own brother or sister if they got ill or, you know, got in trouble, so we shouldn't turn our back on people around the world who are also our brothers and sisters.